Hey everyone, welcome back to Creatively Crafted Life with Melanie. Still working on December Daily. <laughs> we are on day 26, so we're getting close to the end. Just um, day 30 and day 31 left to go after this. I'm still working a little bit out of order. So today's story is about Christmas that went on at home and home being Winnipeg, Canada, which is where most of my immediate family lives. And what I had um, my youngest sister do is send me a bunch of photos of my family members enjoying Christmas at my brother and sister-in-law's on the 25th. What I have to work with is the back of a 6x8. So what I did was I cut a 6x8 piece of cardstock from, this is from the Pink Fresh collection from the Hip Kit Club, and then I have my photos printed. I had the large 2 and 6 from Studio Calico, which I think I'm going to put here at the top. Now, um, I'm probably going to trim this photo of my grandmother down. Doesn't she look amazing? She's like 98 years old. I know. Um, I'm going to probably going to trim this down so that it doesn't overlap the numbers. I don't like the overlapping. And that's okay because I'm working outside of a pocket, so there should be no issues with that. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave the chipboard or the wood veneer plain. I'm not going to jazz it up. So that's going to be pretty quick and easy. On this side, I'm dealing with the back of day 27, which was the Christmas past. And that was a four pocket page so I'm going to just add these photos in here I created my own pocket using or pocket my own 3 by 4 card of the same cardstock as over here and the title is going to be Christmas Without You which I believe I'm going to use these October afternoon probably a combination well seeing as there's no C's left on that side it's probably all going to be small unless I change my mind so that will be the title and then I want to do a little bit of documenting and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a 4 by 6 card out of this card stock which is from the crepe paper fall a lot collection it's twinkle and I'm going to take this 3 by 4 card from the hip kit club and add that on and it says together is best and then I'm going to just document how sometimes that's not always possible and write a little bit about that there and then on the back side what I would like to do is list everybody in the photo so I'm thinking of numbering each photo and then writing um, I'll probably end up typing to get everything on um, who the individuals are so that I know who they are you know in years that will come. So that's kind of the overall thought and then I don't know how much room I'll have left for embellishing but if I do you know I've got my standard stickers and I think I would probably focus on either hearts and stars probably stars because of the star back paper star background paper. Um, there are a few words like family and um, you know forever in my heart that kind of thing that might work so we'll see where we end up and I will be right back. Okay, so here are the completed pages for the 26. Very simple, um, exactly as I outlined it. I just added the photos, added the 26, created the 4x6 card, did a little bit of journaling. Um, on the back side, I... Okay, the stars exploded. What can I say? I started with three. And then I thought it looked a little bare, so I added five, and then it looked like too much. So I figured, you know what, let's just fill the whole, the whole card. And to be honest, I like it a little bit better now than it was, but there's still a lot of stars. But that's okay, because the rest of the pages are pretty plain. And that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So anyways, um, I just added photos, name, I mean names for the photos, and then on this side here I just did the Christmas without you, just three simple stars, and kept it very easy. So thank you so much for joining me today, and like I said, we only have two more days left. Thank you for bearing with me and sticking it through all the way. Um, we do appreciate it. Please leave any comments below, um, and don't forget to subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.